Hello everyone, I am looking like a hot mess. Um, however, I am doing some self-care. I got an email this morning uh, giving me points for staying at hotels when I was working in Kitchener and I got this room for half price. Uh, if you stay for two nights, you get one free. So I decided to come and stay at the hotel behind Carmen's. And I actually don't know what the hotel is called. To be honest with you, I just call it the hotel behind Carmen's. Anyway, it's beautiful. So here's the king size bed. Um, that is gorgeous. Um, there is a spa tub here that you can probably maybe watch TV, but I did bring magazines because I knew that was here. Um, there's a fireplace and a really big TV and an eating suite, a little couch here to rest, I guess. And then they have like a full kitchen. It's really pretty. I'm going to go get some ice in a minute. Um, they have the bathroom that is actually behind the door, which is totally cool. Um, it's really nice in here too. walk in shower. Um, and then there's a big, big, big closet for all your clothes, but, uh, I didn't really bring much, so, but yeah, so that is this place. It's really, really nice. Um, I can't wait to go down to the pool. Um, hey. <laughs> um, I decided last minute to do this and uh, glad I did. So I'm going to go get some ice and uh, relax and then go for a swim. All right, bye. Hi everyone, I'm in the pool right now. Um, there is music on in the background, but I don't know if Christmas music is copyrighted or what, but it is Christmas music. Um, but anyway, I don't care if it gets copyrighted, it gets copyrighted. Um, so here's the pool, it's super nice. <laughs> I was showing you like as if I could show you, but I hadn't flipped the camera yet. Okay, hold on. Yeah, so here's like where the steps are. There's like a little island kind of in the side. Um, that's the front of the hotel. And the water is heated, so it's, it's like bath water. It's really, really comfortable. Um, yeah. It's super, super nice. I really, really like air. I'm glad I came here for the two days. I mean, why not? What else am I supposed to do, right? Like, I wanted to go away so bad. Like, oh, I just wanted to, I just really wanted to go away with mom for Christmas. And um, that's obviously not going to happen. My biggest fear isn't traveling itself. It's potentially not being able to come back. So normal people, they might be able to be okay with that. I mean, I'm, you know, not currently holding a full-time job. Um, if I were to get stuck, it wouldn't be a big deal. However, I take a lot of medication and it's a lot of medication that's rare. It's not just like go to the corner store and pick up some acetaminophen and pop that like it's just it's not the case like my biggest fear is so I would travel with a month's worth of medication anyway um, which is a lot of medication um, it's what my suitcase is a lot made up of and some of them are um, thermal medications which means that they either have to be kept at a high temperature or a low temperature and my Anna Kinra um, the one that helps my heart um, is refrigerated so I have to be very very careful about how I store them and when you think of like obviously back to the beginning of the pandemic when people were stuck on those cruises and they couldn't get off and like like my mom said that like you know the government would make sure that you had medication but if it's stuff like infusions or like my blood thinners or the anakinra or like 
all these other weird, bizarre medications that I take, I don't know if I would be able to get them. So my fear isn't going, it's not being able to get back. And that's my biggest like fear. Um, and that was my biggest fear for my mom. She had two trips planned this year. She had a cruise and then she was gonna go to um, like Rome and Italy and all those places on a, a tour, guided tour and that got canceled. But I was so scared that she was gonna be able to go but then not come back. And right at that time that her trip was booked, it was happening a lot and I was really, really scared. So even though I'm sad that she doesn't get to go on her trip, I'm glad that she's here safe and, you know, able to, you know, just be whatever. But I, when I was getting my nails done the other day, I asked them if they had lost money because people do usually go away around this time of year. Um, it's winter, it's cold, it's gross. People just want to do something. So, and I thought for sure that people wouldn't be going away, but the owner of p &A Nails on Upper Sherman and, um, Upper Sherman and uh, Mohawk, um, the owner's there, her name is Janet, and she said that, that they haven't had like a big loss in revenue, um, mostly because um, people are still going away. And they're going away which includes two weeks of quarantine or a negative COVID test twice in a row. So you either have to do 14 days of quarantine or two negative um, uh, test results back in a row. Um, so that means like at minimum, you'd be taking at least two weeks off. Maximum three months or three weeks off rather. Like, cause you'd have your trip, which is a week usually and then you would have two weeks of quarantine or waiting for your secondary um, uh, COVID test to come back. So, like, I don't know. I don't, like, I, it's just, I would just be scared to be stuck somewhere. Like, as much as I love Dominican and I know that they're a little bit more, you know, with the time, say, some, say than some place like Cuba, you know, or something like that. Um, at least I know in Dominican, they at least have, you know, a lot of access to things, um, but they just wouldn't have everything. And how does that work with like your your reservation for your, um, uh, like your hotel? Like say something happened and there was an outbreak and you couldn't leave, would you have to pay then to stay at the hotel again or like, is it covered through insurance? Like, it's crazy, because I know I won't qualify for medical insurance, but my mom will. Um, so, you know, she has to figure that out, I guess. I don't know. It's just, like, really, really weird. But, yeah. So I'm just going to sit at the side of the pool and um, just relax. It feels so good. Like... So, 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 so good. I wish there was, like, one of those, like, seats that they have down south where it's, like, in the water and, like, you're, like, it's, like, it's, like, shaped kind of like that and, like, your head and your, your legs are out, but, like, your body and stuff like that is in the water. Oh, and if it was salted water, oh, my God. Uh, I miss, I miss down south desperately. Um, anyway, I will... Um, post this and continue vlogging. Alright, bye guys.